Welcome back, DPV TV viewers. It's Chris Nichols here. I'm joined by Jordan Drake. What are you doing in my house? It's 10 o'clock at night. Chris, I just read an interview that was so compelling that I was like, I gotta go talk to Chris about this. So I drove over here, saw a window was slightly ajar, Jimmy did open, and found myself in a lit living room, which is a perfect place to have a conversation. So first off, totally normal to have a lit area in your living room for interviews, even if you're never expecting anybody. Second off, I was terrified. Waste I, of power, though. I was gonna defend myself with a firearm until I heard the distinct sound of a Manfrotto video tripod pod clinking through the window and I figured Very it had to be you. On yeah. this sound. Now I've read the same article. I mean, we actually got an exclusive with Deep Review to talk to Nikon. Barney Britton talked to Keiji Oishi. He's the department manager of Nikon's imaging business unit. And he was actually very frank and very honest about a lot of new production coming out. Yeah, there was one real so. bombshell in there. They said, there's a flagship mirrorless Z mount camera coming, which is something we really expected. We mentioned it in our predictions episode. Yes, we did. But the bombshell is, uh, they said this is going to be a high resolution stacked sensor that will yeah. be in this. So, yeah, that is interesting because, of course, the big camera right now on the market is the Sony A1, right? That is what everybody's excited to see. Um, and that has an incredibly high resolution stack CMOS sensor, and it does open up a lot of possibilities. We've talked about silent shooting, you know, minimum rolling shutter, and maybe even the addition of some computational photography, right? Is it going to be the same sensor or I mean, similar sensor? Well, I just can't think of any other stacked sensor that they would call a high resolution sensor. They talked about 8K potential on it, so mm. that does really make me think that but I mean the important thing is if it's a stacked sensor that means fast readout is the emphasis there mm. so that means this is really going to be the first camera since the Nikon 1 series camera where it's going to have a real focus on electronic shooting you've mm. had the option in the Z6 and the Z7 1 and 2 series but those weren't the fastest scanning sensors so it wasn't that usable honestly here's the other interesting thing that I got from that part is they've stated themselves Nikon that this is going to surpass the Nikon D6 right right and you know we've already been talking about you know how maybe the flagship dslr is on its way out right yeah i, mean, I think these were the last ones the d6 and the 1dx3 right but in order for a camera to be flagship, I mean, they haven't told us any details about this new camera, but it's probably going to be rugged as hell, fully sealed, EVF. I don't think it's going to have anything like the Sony A1 has, but I think it'll have one of the 5.76 million dot EVFs at least. That would be my guess, yeah. Which would be great, you know, state-of-the-art autofocus. Is it going to be like still a compact Z body with a battery grip option, or are they going to go with a larger camera? I suspect they'll go larger. That would be my guess. But it is really interesting because when the D6 came out, it was like, I kind of feel like they're holding a lot back, same sensor and everything like that. This kind of lets us know, no, they've been doing a lot behind the scenes. And this year, we're going to see the <laughs> results of that, which is super cool. Yeah. So the other really interesting tidbit is they throw around the phrase 8K. It's not really a phrase. It's really more <laughs> a number and a letter. But they say 8K a lot in it. That makes me think I'm kind of hoping for something, kind of like what the Canon R5 does, where it has an 8K image, but then you can get their 4K HQ, where it's a super sampled image from the 8K. Something like that would make a ton of sense. The quality would be fantastic. Uh, but just because it does internal, let's say, 4K over sample, doesn't mean it won't be able to do 8K output to external recorders right. that could be very cool again this is all just conjecture we're hoping but we're spitballing know. here but, but what's really interesting is Nikon's the only company of the mirrorless cameras right now supporting both Blackmagic's B-RAW and Apple's ProRes RAW so I could see that would give them a really interesting leg up over Sony like hey if you're a big fan of Blackmagic you're editing in Resolve grab one of their recorders and now you're doing 8K B-RAW that would be a huge deal pretty cool and Nikon's been making huge inroads in the video world, right? Yeah. Like their lenses seem built, like focus breathing is very well controlled. They're very good video lenses. Yeah, they've done a good job supporting the Z6 II, for example, and the Z7 II as well, uh, which are excellent video cameras in their own right. And, you know, they're saying that we've got a whole bunch more lenses coming, smaller, lighter lenses. But yeah, I mean, it looks like they're making a good push here. Yeah, I mean, if you're looking at this class of camera, you're going to be doing some stills and some video. It's really nice to see them kind of stepping up their game there. Mm -hmm. So I know this probably brings up a lot more questions than it does answers. We totally get it, but it's exciting to see Nikon is making some really interesting inroads here and, and some very exciting news, absolutely. And if you guys haven't read the article already, definitely check it out. The link's in the description below. But you know, the other thing I wanna mention here, We've been shooting now tonight actually on the Panasonic S1H. I know everybody's thinking, wow, Cheating. that Pentax K01 is just getting better and it's better looking. Everybody's been loving the video quality out of that camera, except Lunacy. you. 
Um, but no, Jordan has shot his four obligatory episodes on the Pentax K01, but because this was such interesting and exclusive news, we want to get it out as soon as possible on the Panasonic S1H. But don't worry, you have a couple more videos coming out that are shot on the Pentax. Next week, those will both be out. We're yeah. not skipping out. <laughs> Prepare your eyes. Jordan's not dodging his, his responsibilities in that <laughs> regard. Um, but otherwise, you know, please leave in the comments below what, what you are thinking is going to happen with this new camera. What will it be named? What will it have? What features would you want to see? Uh, let us know. We'd love to hear that. But otherwise, yeah, check out the article and we will see you guys soon. Subscribe. Subscribe.